Now it's fair to say that when we review irons of late, or any clubs for that matter, there's a big deal and a lot of attention paid to the price. The price is an ever increasing one at the moment in terms of golf products. We've got irons being released in the next couple of weeks, which yet again are close to the £200 a club mark, setting uh, a new level. Everything seems to be on the way up. So I thought I'd go to the opposite end of the market and check out a product which is possibly the best value set of irons that's out there right now. And it's from the legendary golf company. It's from Wilson Golf. these clubs yes they're from Wilson and they're their D7 model they were released in the early part of Jan uh, 19 so I'm a little late on the scene with this one but I had read and watched some reviews and they've been very very positive and with the change in price at the moment that seems to be happening a lot of clubs seem to be going that way uh, I thought I'd look at a sort of value set of iron and see how they perform ultimately uh, are you getting uh, are you making sacrifices by paying at that lower price end and we'll soon find out the price point is uh, the easiest way of doing it is £65 a club in terms of UK pounds. 389 is the kind of market price I'm seeing for six irons. And if you put that into perspective, I would say that's half the price of the standard set of irons that are being released by the other brands at the moment and a third of the price in some cases being what's being released right now. So it's incredibly good value. But the question is, are you making sacrifices because you're getting um, you're paying that lower price point and that's what we'll find out very very soon the specs of these clubs well they're strong lofted um, Wilson claim they've made a, a player profile with super game improvement characteristics um, again I'll give you my opinion on the, the looks and aesthetics very shortly 28 degrees is the seven iron so there's your barometer in terms of where it sits yes it's incredibly strong lofted I've got some data that I've already collected in terms of seven iron numbers so I know where that sits and probably you do as well but the main thing is, uh, there's two options, KBS 80 regular shaft and then you've got UST recoil shaft as well, so there's limitations in terms of options, um, but two good shafts there. The product looks okay to me, I'll, like I said, I'll give you my, uh, my, my, my thoughts on it, sat behind the vault very, very shortly, and I think that's a key thing. Let's get out on the course and then come back, join me here, and I'll give you my overall opinion of these Wilson D7 irons. Right, okay, so you've got your product information and uh, we know all about the price, but the reality is how do they perform on the golf course? Because you can forget everything else, if the clubs don't perform out here in reality, then it means nothing, no matter what the cost is. So this is the perfect place to start things off at Conway Golf Club. We're on the 13th, I'm playing a par three, absolute stunning par three by the way. It's 175 into a little bit of breeze. Based on the loft and what I expect to get, I'm going with six iron. Let's see how this starts off for this Wilson D7 and more importantly for me. Well, I'm more than happy with that. I hope you got picked that up in the uh, in the skyline there. We'll try and get some ball tracer on it, shot tracer on it. It was uh, always stayed out to the right hand side. Really interesting ball flight in that it was very very high, but it was a strong ball flight as well. It sort of never. There is a little bit of breeze into us at the moment. I think it's pin high. We'll go and check that one out down by the green. But I think it's gone the distance I expected it to. Ball flight, like I said, was very very high indeed for the strong loft that's on this six iron. Uh, but the biggest surprise in the first iron that I hit was the feel and feedback that I got out of this six iron. And when I say surprise, pleasantly surprised. I definitely got that one out the middle, but it was a real sweet and soft feel. So, so far, that's a massive tick in the box for me, because as you know, feel and sound are a big deal. It's only one iron in, but I really like that. Right, so next club up in the bag that I'm gonna try is the longest iron in the bag that's available in these D7 irons. They only go to a five iron, but the five iron is lofted at 22 degrees. So that's, 
that's really strong I mean that's uh, that's equivalent to most people's four irons and perhaps even stronger anyway uh, but this is where they go to and then it's your option as to where you go next in terms of perhaps looking at hybrids uh, which we might look at in this D7 range also but five iron 22 degrees I'm on a par five here we're going to give this one a wallop and uh, see if we can get one chasing down the middle bit downwind this Well, again what's really interesting I might be slightly uh, shaded here because we're right into the uh, morning uh, sun which is gorgeous to play in but not great for the camera uh, if we pick the ball flight up I was managed to just trap that one down a little bit it goes a decent ball flight it was on the left bunk because it didn't really cut much at all which is what I was hoping for but again the ball has traveled but the interesting thing again second iron in it's the feel that's the most impressive thing and when I say feel I mean, I can't quite see where I've uh, where I've picked that one up. It's a brand new club, this, and I can't see where I've uh, hit that one on the club face. But what I can tell you is, uh, I've managed to find either two sweet spots because it felt sweet, or there's a decent hitting area there, which allows for average golfers to uh, find a little bit of the club face and still get some great feel out of this thing. But so far, two really impressive irons, which I've been more than happy with. I've got to say how good Conway Golf Club is looking this morning and just a reminder don't forget that on September the 23rd we're looking to find the average golfer of 2019 and that competition is being held here at Conway Golf Club and you can enter via tupload.co.uk t-e-u-p-l-o.co.uk get here September the 23rd there's not a lot of spaces left or tee times but uh, there are a few anyway back to the club review I got 130 into a bit of breeze. I'm going to have to go with pitching wedge because I'm brought the nine iron out. Uh, I'd probably have chosen nine for that reason. Um, we've tried a couple of the longer irons, and uh, therefore, obviously, let's go and try something down the shorter end. The one thing that I've just uh, noticed, and on the shots that I've hit going around the course, is that as a player who sort of uh, comments a lot that he likes a small uh, blade-like iron, a more compact size of iron, uh, which I always do say. I then come out with a set of clubs like this or try a set of clubs like this uh, sporadically as they are released and when a, a club like this I mean with a bit of mass with a bit of chunk behind the ball and the odd thing is you sort of question your mentality because you stand behind the five iron and the six iron what I've hit uh, on the camera so far and they're sort of they're very much confidence inspiring you don't feel as though you're having to work a great deal with them that you, you sort of your mind switches that that bulk and mass will do all the work for you so yeah always question the mentality of golfers and mine included in that Again, I don't know whether you picked that one up, it looked really good to be honest, it was just, uh, it was not all over the flag, it was uh, just to the right of the flag and what it's done, it's pitched short on the bank, it's, if you were playing in a, uh, in a medal you'd be happy with that, so it's just kicked me left and onto the front fringe of the green. But it's probably done what I thought, uh, maybe this club is in around a sort of 125, 130 without playing into the breeze, so full club, but it was definitely a 99, but yet again, you can see on this one it did sort of come out the middle, some of the bottom grooves, ball flight on all these, um, again, I've said this on a lot of videos over the last couple of years loft means very little to me um, because it's about ball flight uh, characteristics that's the big deal and the ball flight does not uh, is not relevant to loft because these things are all towering in terms of the ball flight uh, and once again with that wedge shot right up in the air it's perhaps an issue but what it's aimed at and the clubs uh, the golfer that these are aimed at they'll certainly give plenty of help in getting that airborne there's no doubt about that what I was uh, trying to do there was just flight that one just a little bit lower and hopefully with the camera face that way you can get that because um, to play six iron I'm in around 150 yards it was a three-quarter swing and like I said a bit more of a punchy shot and the interesting thing is still with this type of iron we talk about players irons about workability at the end of the day when golfers are at a level or whatever level you are at in terms of the shots that you like to play I'm pretty much sure that they can be done with any type of club nowadays and this idea that a players iron is required to hit a certain type of shot I think then days are gone. Well, 
that's the first shot I've played with the uh, sand iron and I must admit sat behind a ball it uh, seemed a little bit cumbersome in its size it's not the normal type of uh, wedge I would like from to play out of sand but once again um, the sand is beautiful at Conway it cut through it very nice indeed and uh, seemed to grab the ball believe me that's a downhill shot downwind and we got a little bit of uh, it certainly grabbed all of what was a very firm green there they're ticking a lot of boxes these things The club goes down to uh, a sand wedge and um, I've, I've said uh, that I played from the bunker just a minute or two ago that um, they're bulkier than what I would prefer. Um, perhaps a good time to talk about the overall looks of these clubs um, and, and, and address. Obviously they've got this thick top line, it's what you'd expect from a, this type of iron, I was going to call it game improvement iron but let's just call it this type of iron, it's got a thick top line and there's plenty of uh, width on the sole on every iron and there's plenty of mass at address. I think it's a good looking club, I think it's a great finish that Wilson put together. They've not overdone it and for me personally I think they've made this type of club look very very appealing indeed and I think it's got a bit of shelf appeal there. Um, but going back to the shot I'm playing, so a uh, little wedge shot, I'm going to use sand wedge. Like I said these are the type of shots that um, normally I would look at this club and sort of push it to one side and dismiss it but anyway. time to retire maybe I won't uh, dismiss it what was really good about that it was a fairly tight lie and I got it really clean and straight away that you felt the sort of grip on the club I knew it was a good shot straight away in terms of like I said the response on these uh, on this club face and I mentioned for a third time now depending on which way I put these clips out but uh, the feel is really really impressive and feel and sound uh, I knew exactly where that was on the club face and uh, like I said I knew straight away that it was a good shot big thing is, and I don't know if you can hear it again, but you can hear the sort of grab on the club, decent enough second shot, and uh, <laughs> I've, got, I've got to say that, I keep saying this word ticking boxes, but so far we've put it in a number of different situations, and the irons from long iron through to short are coming out very, very appealing indeed. They're doing a job, there's no doubt about that, and at the price point it's incredible. In many ways do I need to do an evaluation I think you've pretty much got it from what you've seen throughout the uh, throughout the testing out there and of course and I think that's the reality the big thing for me uh, on course testing is massive if I'd have tested these just in the bay would my opinion have been the same as what it is now I've brought them out on the course I don't think it would have been to be perfectly honest with you and I think that's where channels myself included really need to get from outside of dry ball data and get out on golf course and open your eyes because there's been such a difference like i said seeing it in reality in different situations what i can achieve with the golf club um, as you've seen uh, has been quite surprising where do i start i mean if in terms of price versus performance unreal an absolute winner all the way um hard to knock on looks it's bulky you know i mean that's a given whether or not your eye can take that i don't know it's a bulky club performance was unreal um, like I said, loft uh, and ball flight characteristics don't go the same. They fly high, they're lofted strong, um, got some good yardage out of the thing, the ball stopped okay in terms of landing, so some very firm greens here at uh, Conway. It, I mean, what, what, how could I be critical of them? For me personally, like I said, it would be overcoming the bulk and mass, but the, probably where this is aimed at. And, and, and like I said, if you're starting a game of golf, 
or you wanted to upgrade an old set of golf clubs and you don't like the prices that are being put out there at the moment then at sort of 400 quid this is an unbelievably good value set of irons it's hard to see where you would go wrong with these irons to be quite honest with you fantastic performance well done for wilson for coming out at this price point i think it's fantastic i'm not going to say any more I think you get the picture i could go on and on and on but you've seen from out there on the course the dry ball data i'll throw it for you now as i'm talking 170 uh ish seven iron like i said it's where it's expected to be uh spin maybe a little bit lower and more like the sort of six iron spin that i would get again down to loft so like i said all things that we've seen many times before but reality out there on the course absolute stunning performer massive thumbs up to wilson and their d7 iron seriously I'm mega impressed with that. Anyway, I'm sat on the 15th tee. I'm gonna play a few more holes here at Conway. It's nine o'clock in the morning and it's absolutely stunning. Don't forget, get yourselves down here September the 23rd uh, and come and find, see if you are the average golfer at 2019. We've got an unreal day coming and uh, I'd love you to be part of it. Anyway, see you soon.